Namaste Ori. Namaste. Uh, today Ori is with me. Uh, I am Master Santosh Kumar, Yoga Darshana Mysore. Uh, please Ori, uh, introduce yourself. My name is Ori. I am 42 years old from Los Angeles, California. I'm a mother of two, a yoga teacher and a Watsu healer. Great. I know you have a long uh, uh, year of experience in yoga mm -hmm. and in many subjects. Uh, I think you are the one best for uh, to answer all these questions and uh, maybe hope, uh, hopefully other students will motivate from this uh, answer. What are the subjects you have studied in our advanced teacher training course? First of all, it was a beautiful experience. Um, from Ashtanga Vinyasa to Hatha Yoga to philosophy, anatomy, Kriya, which is det detox, um, mantra, spirituality, uh, yoga therapy, pregnant yoga, acro yoga, partner yoga, mudra yoga, kids yoga, and what else? Great. <laughs> great, great. How many, uh, how these subjects are important to the yoga teachers in their career? First of all, it's enriching uh, you as a person. It gives you a lot of information on a way of living, how to live this life and how to observe those life. And many times students have lots of questions. They ask you what to do, how to do. They have problems. They want to solve the problems. In the West, people take prescriptions, medication. So instead of taking medication, practice yoga, asanas, and pranayama can solve lots of problems. So I think that is the main thing of... Uh, do you think uh, yoga therapy, mudra therapy, pregnancy yoga, all are very important also for the yoga teachers? Very important. If it is important, uh, can you give some words how it is helping? So my own personal experience, two of my boys, I, start, I started my journey when I was pregnant with my first one. Um, it helped me with natural uh, birth, uh, with contractions, with maintaining my breath through contractions. A friend of mine called me a few days ago that her baby didn't reach. So I told her, do this asana, do that asana. Today she called me in the morning, she gave birth naturally. The baby turned only from yoga asanas. So it's not just a practice, it's a science. And I think uh, many people should know that. Mm, that's great. And also in your teaching, you can share with all the students. Yes. And you know, uh, because when pregnant lady comes to your class, or you know, you can teach something. Yes. And I otherwise have more you have to say yeah. no. Yeah. Otherwise you have to say no. Uh, and our school is the one teaching many number of asanas. So do you think uh, learning more number of asanas also helpful? For sure. It's helping not just for the actual practice. It's helping for a daily. Um, how do, how would I say it? It's just. To make your sequence very easily. Not just your sequence. It's it's the breathing. Yeah. There's lots of stress. Mm, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Life is stressing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, marriage is stressing. Kids. <laughs> yeah. School. That's true. Yeah. Um, the length of the breath. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, the concentration, the meditation, yeah. Yeah, yeah. the technique that in yeah. the West I've learned, but mm -hmm. here I got the source of it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. The more number of person also I think very helpful because since people are. Keep asking, teach me new asana. Yes. Every How do day. I do this? How do I do that? <laughs> yeah. How do I do a headstand? Yeah. So how do knowing tell, more asanas. How do they tell boring? For sure. Yes. For sure <laughs> yes, helping. Yes, yes. What is yoga in the Western view? Uh, you know, many people uh, they don't really know what is yoga. The way we think in India and the way they think in West is totally different. So, in your opinion, what is yoga in the West? In the Western view. There are some people in the West that are very much influenced from mm -hmm. India. They came, they came of course, to India. Uh, one is, got, one yes. is you. Uh, yes. no, 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 not just me. I'm sure there's yeah. many more. Yeah. But uh, I think generally people think yoga is a workout. 
Mm -hmm. Yoga is a place to tone your body and get muscles yeah. and to get more flexible, which is also mm -hmm. the benefits of yoga, That's true. but it's not just. That's correct. That's yoga correct. is the way of living. Well, it's okay. a life process. It's uh, more than a spiritual, it's not religion, it's just uh, a way to live your life. Great, great. Uh, here and there and everywhere, you know, many people, they're actually not really a student. They come with certain mental issues, psychic issues, uh, some kind of sick mind. People always actually, you know, uh, they take yoga in a wrong way or yoga teachings in a wrong way. Also, they don't uh, really adjust into yoga training or yoga practices. In that case, there is always a fight in the, you know, uh, in the teaching class or I think when yoga. a person is attending a yoga class or starting his yoga journey, he needs to leave his ego mm -hmm. and criticism mm -hmm. at home mm -hmm. and to come clean, mm -hmm. but open-minded and mm -hmm. just observe mm -hmm. whatever he's getting from his master, from his teacher. Mm -hmm. Each teacher can teach you something. That's true, that's true. Each yeah. teacher, mm -hmm. he can teach you a right positioning, alignment, opening up, breathing, connecting, concentration. So there's a lot to learn from yoga. Mm -hmm. And I think every school and every method is different. So mm -hmm. it's not a place of compare. You know, we can't really compare. Mm -hmm. When I came here, I thought Kundalini is different and Hatha is different and Ashtanga is different and Prenatal is different. And then here I realized it's all yoga. <laughs> and yoga true. is one thing. Like yeah, you say, yeah. yoga is a union. It's yeah. not just a union between yeah. you, your mind, yeah. your mind, body, and soul. Yeah. Yeah. It's a union of all that yeah. knowledge. Yeah. 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 And it's an amazing knowledge that I think everyone should learn. Yeah. Yeah. And you have a, a teaching experience of more than eight years. Uh, you have any idea or you have any words why people criticize yoga school or uh, a certain kind of yoga system or something because they don't have the understanding of what is really yoga mm. they think again i want to go and get muscles um, so i'm going to do a stand. Mm. i want to go and be more relaxed so mm -hmm. i'm going to do kundalini yeah. i want to be more spiritual so i do this it's all the same true, kundalini hatha raja bhakti karma everything is yoga great being yeah. a good person is yoga that's true, that's true. yeah yeah and how you are enjoying uh, in our school, Yoga Darshinam and Mysore? Besides the hospitality mm -hmm. and the amazing masters Thank and you. the teachers that I'm so grateful for, um, the friends I've made here mm -hmm. uh, from all over the world. Yeah, Mysore is beautiful, very much Western. It's like a yoga ghetto. So you can find your from Ayurveda massage to Reiki to healing to, it's just amazing. Nature trip. Food is great. Um, everything. Great. You know, I, I, I had such a great time. Thank you. I'm so grateful for that time. Here is the last question for you. What is your suggestion to the students to practice yoga very seriously? Because today, you and I have trained more than 2,000 teachers and around 10,000 students from last uh, last 20 years, uh, around 100 countries. So. Uh, because very few people take it yoga very seriously. Many people they come for actually occasions, you know, like spending some time, you know, some yeah. of course wasting time also. <laughs> uh, they don't really show very good interest, you know, right from beginning till end. In the first week they are better, but like later slowly they you know they lose their interest. So what is your suggestion to practice yoga very seriously? Commitment, mm -hmm. open-minded, mm -hmm. forget your ego. Forget your criticism. Um, understand that yoga, pranayama, meditation will give you long, healthy life. And if you can influence and work on yourself, you can influence your on your surrounding. And it's a very important thing to do. Um, not just the workout, the whole practice. Practicing yoga daily in your mind, your body, and your soul. Mm -hmm. um, it's a gift. Take that gift and, and share it with others. Doing yoga once in a while, not really going to give you the benefits. So if you really want to get benefits, you should be committed, committed. and work hard. 
Yes, without that we don't get any success in any field, yes. right? Same thing. Well, thank you very much, Hori, for your inspirational words thank and uh, great speech. And uh, we are very happy to have you here also. I'm happy to be here. And uh, very thankful, we are very thankful that you, know, uh, you shared your uh, great experience. Thank you very much once again. Namaste.